Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel, everybody. I am the host. My name is Catherine. I'm here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have timeless readings for all of our lovely Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a general love reading, so please take this energy, how it resonates with you and the person that is closest to you. If you are new to the channel, please make sure you are subscribed. Click on the watermark in the description box below so that you can be entered in your chance to win the giveaway. I do every month on this channel around the 1st where I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, crystals, jewelry, and free readings. All you need to do is be entered in order to win or subscribe in order to win. So subscribe to the channel and you'll be automatically entered in that. Um, I also do a weekly drawing where I give away three question readings. Um, all you need to do is hashtag win in the comments or hashtag free reading in the comment section and I will enter your name in the drawing. Every video, if you hashtag win in the comments, you will be able to have multiple entries, okay? This is what it looks like. And I will do this drawing on this coming Monday and every Monday I will do the drawings. It was on Sunday, but I changed it. All right, so what else? Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Tarot Talk Live. Also, please go to the website and book a reading with me if you are interested in a personal reading. I am also going to be going live on YouTube, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. So please make sure that you guys are tuned in. I'm going to be taking your questions for $11.11 at the end of that live on, you know, towards the end. Um, I'll also be going, well, that actually, that whole entire live is going to be for, uh, question readings. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a reading during that because I'm, I want to keep that open. I'm booking up to 30 people so you can prepay. Once I get 30 slots, I'm going to be closing down the readings. Okay. I will be doing this multiple times in a week going forward. So just keep that in mind. Um, and you can go and book your readings at any time. You can pay for your readings also on the website. Please pre-book because I don't want you to um, not get a chance to get your question answered. Okay. All right, so let's look at your person's energy first, Cancer. We always start with you. Let's start with your person's energy first. Okay, so let's see what we have going on here. I'm light the incense, you guys. Sorry about that. And I am using the Spirit Shield Oracle deck by Gina Trulio from Cancer Baby Tarot. Also, she has another channel, several other channels on YouTube. Tarot of Light is her main channel. Please go and check her out, you guys, and uh, check out all of her channels um, until I get the link. I'm just going to give you her information, and it is Cancer Baby Tarot. Um, once you get to that, um, then you can go from there. So should be the first one, I think the only one. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is her deck. Spirit Shield Oracle Deck. All 
Okay. And this is Spirit Shield Tarot deck. It's beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous deck here. And her decks are on sale right now. Um, I believe today is the last day of the BOGO sale that she has going on. So go and check that out. All right. She has another uh, deck as well. I would All right. So we're looking at your person's energy first here. And then we'll look at your energy, Cancer. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Cancer's person, please. Tell me about Cancer's person. Tell me about Cancer's person, please. So we have children. Pregnancy, new beginnings, fertility, spending time with children, immaturity, and inner child. So cancer is either they're the person that you are with could be expecting a child soon, or um, there's an energy of the person you're with is um, like being with a child, okay? They are very immature, okay, in the way that they behave. Uh, and we have a firm daily affirmations. Words are powerful, releasing negative speech and thoughts and positive reinforcement. Um, I feel as though this is someone who needs a lot of attention, Cancer. I'm feeling the energy of someone who needs to constantly hear you tell them um you know, good things about them or that you care about them. They constantly need to be um, kind of reassured. Okay, so this could be somebody just with a very needy disposition or someone who was very needy in the past here. Okay, let's pull some more for your person. Tell me about Cancer's person, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about Cancer's person, please. So we have stressed, working overtime, household responsibilities, too many people need your time and energy. Do you see that? Stressed, need your time and energy. I feel there's an energy of this person is causing a lot of stress for you, um, there's an energy of, you know, this person should be an adult. Um, they should be able to help you or assist you in the connection. Yet there's an energy of you having to go behind this person and constantly, you know, just go behind this person as if they were a small child. Um, and it's causing a lot of stress for you in the connection. Do you understand? You feel as if you're working overtime. Not only do you have to work all day, but then you have to come home and also clock in there as well. It's like it's never ending for you. And then you have gratitude. Practice gratitude daily. Be grateful for the small things. Show appreciation. More blessings will come to you if you do this. So I feel like there's an energy of being grateful. Um for everything that you have. I feel like even though things are difficult for you, you always find um, a way to practice gratitude, um, which is the energy that you do need to have. But I feel like there's an energy of somebody who feeds off of that um, as well. And this is what's causing so much stress for you in this time, Cancer. So... Let's see what we have under the deck. We have new career and we have food. New business, new job, training, promotion, new ideas and upgrading. And then we have food, better eating habits, dieting, meal prepping, drink more water, balanced meals and cooking at home. I feel like 
things are completely changing for you. I feel like not only with new career, I don't think this is talking about a job for you. I feel like there's going to be an energy of um, you are going to be changing up what you are doing. I feel like at home, food, better eating habits, dieting, meal prepping, drinking more water. I feel like you're going to be taking more care of yourself. The new job that you're going to have is not taking care of others, but taking care of self. This is what is going to change here. And you have info. Heed what you hear. Read between the lines and the fine print. Seek advice from those you trust and get more information. And then you have marriage, proposal, planning a wedding, going to a wedding, shopping for a ring, and commitment. So this looks like something new that's coming. Somebody who's coming to make some sort of proposal. Also seeing an energy of needing more information. And then we have time, winter. And then we have new love. So I'm feeling as though someone new is going to be coming through for you here. Hmm. And you see new career. I, I'm telling you, you're going to be putting your energy in another direction. And it's going to be focused on doing something that's good for you. Um, and if that means... If that means being in a new, completely new connection, then I feel like that's what that means here, Cancer. Um, and this may happen in the winter time. Okay. This may happen during the winter. So I'm going to go ahead now and clarify with the tarot here. Tell me about children here. Again, I'm feeling the energy of somebody who's very immature, um, likes to play mind games. And we have the death card here. Scorpionic energy under the deck, the three of cups. So something is ending here. The death card also talks about transformation or something that is changing. Now, the Three of Cups does talk about you um, having something that you share with this person. Um, there's a reason that makes you happy. There's something that, something in this connection still makes you happy. That's what the Three of Cups represents. But with the Death card, I feel like this has changed. This has changed. And now you feel... Now you feel like you're in a situation that you can't um, or that you wish you never were in in the first place. Look, we have the Ten of Cups with a firm here. Under the deck, Four of Pentacles. Now you're pulling back. So the Ten of Cups represents you being emotionally fulfilled, having everything that you want in the connection. Um, but with that four of pentacles, someone is holding back here or someone's holding back love here. Tell me about stressed here. Why are you stressed, Cancer? Why are you stressed? Tell me about stress, please. Or why is this person stressing you out? Six of cups here. This talks about someone going back to their childhood. <laughs> okay, this person is childish, Cancer. You're dealing with someone who is childish here. Under the deck, four of swords, and you need a break. You need a break. You are stressed out. You need some rest. You need peace. You need um, to be in a place where it is quiet, where you can think. That's what the four of swords represents here. Tell me about gratitude here. 
Tell me about gratitude, Cancer. Now, where did this card come from? We have the King of Cups sitting here with the Page of Wands. I feel as though, Cancer, this is one that you have separated from here. I feel like there was a separation from this person with that Four of Swords. I feel like that King of Cups fell out with that Four of, Four of Swords and the Six of Cups. Page of Wands and the World here. This is someone who is moving towards something new. This is someone who is finding closure and they are excited to go towards something completely new. Okay, with that Page of Wands energy. Let's see, tell me about new career. So you've got new career and new love here. Page of Cups. This is a new romance. You're going to be meeting someone new here, Cancer. Under the deck, King of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person um, is very, very financially stable. You have the Knight of Pentacles here with the King of Pentacles. Somebody who's very reliable very stable emotionally and financially. Tell me about food, please. And you have the Knight of Swords. This is somebody coming, rushing in to help or to fix a situation or to make something right. This could also be, um, you could be meeting someone who is like, um, I don't want to say a personal trainer, but someone who, uh, it's like a food coach, okay, or like a dietitian. Under the deck, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Yes, I feel like you are going to be doing something to take care of yourself or to work on yourself or to better yourself. This could be like a, um, I'm getting the energy of like a personal trainer. Do you see what I'm saying? This is like a personal trainer, and I feel like you are actually going to be meeting someone who is going to be helping you um, on your journey here, and this is going to happen sometime during the winter. Hmm. And you have marriage and new love here. So tell me about marriage and new love, please. Tell me about marriage and new love. The sun. This is something um, very positive coming towards you, Cancer. With the three of wands under the deck, this is something new. With the chariot, you are moving towards this energy. Okay? Um, I do feel like there's someone who's coming in to make things much better for you, Cancer. Um, you have the seven of pentacles here. So this is someone who's definitely going to be worth the time and the effort. Okay. So I'm seeing something beautiful coming towards you. Um, I'm going to take it into an extended. We will look more into this situation and we will do a cancer versus all 12. The link will be in the description box and in the comments. Take care and I'll see you there. Bye.